What is going on, comic fans? Welcome back to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark, and today I'm here with another Absolute Batman video. It's time to check in with all of the options of books that are available as of right now to purchase for this, which is probably going to be like the biggest comic release of the year. It's what it's looking like so far, but we're going to dive into all of that right after this. <music> Hit the description, find links to amazing comic resources like online retailer Big Time Collectibles, cleaning and pressing services or submission services to CGC or CBCS with Justin Comics. And you can also follow the Facebook page for my LCS ABX Comics and Games. That's a lot of acronyms for my LCS ABX Comics and Games. They do a lot of new comic book day information on there as well as tabletop gaming and all that kind of stuff. Fantastic group. So if you're on Facebook, be sure to check it out now. Hell hasn't froze over, pigs aren't flying, but the first fictional comic book character is getting his very own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, none other than Batman. And what better time than now with Absolute Comics right around the corner. Batman's about to be kicking off the Absolute Universe. It releases like October 17th on shelves, but FOC or Future Order Cutoff was this past Monday. What that means is if you're a retailer or if you order directly from like previews or the source, that was the day to get your specific order and to guarantee your copy for Absolute Batman. If you didn't, that's fine. You can go out and find local comic shops anywhere all over the place or fantastic online retailers, links below, and you can still probably get one just fine. These shops are going to order heavy on this book and there's tons of covers to choose from. A lot of these covers are going to be what's called direct market covers, meaning that every comic shop had an open order availability to order as many of those covers as they want. There's also going to be a handful of incentive covers, which means you'd have to order more to get a few of those as an incentive to order heavy on it. And then as with any good comic book, retailers out there have bought in for their own incentive, or own exclusive covers. And we're about to look at all of those as I scoured the internet. I scoured all the social medias. I went to the dark side of threads and to the dark side of X, and I found as much as I could in between to compile this comprehensive list of all the absolute Batman cover options that are available to people like myself and you that are fans of comic books. And we're going to kick it off with the most common cover you'll see. This is the A cover, meaning just the standard edition first print. Absolute Batman number one. And I do want to say, how good does that DC bullet look in the corner getting the OG logo back? Not necessarily the OG, but just the OG. You know what I mean? And you also see it's branded with all in right under it. But the A cover is going to be drawn by the interior artist of this book, Nick Dragota. So this is one you're going to see is the most common one. But there'll be other options on the shelf also for cover price, including the B cover by Wes Craig, which is pretty solid, especially for Wes Craig. I'm kind of digging this. I like the black and yellow background and just the shadows on it really just kind of make Wes's artwork look even better. If you follow his art or if you see like the DC All In special coming, he's not necessarily my favorite. It's kind of kind of more of a cartoony style, but this one really is dynamic and it looks great. Then we got the heavy hitter on the C cover. Jim Lee himself is coming in for this amazing cover, and you see Batman holding the battle axe, and he's going to be doing a cover for Wonder Woman and Superman as well. So keep that in mind when you're shopping these that some of these might end up being somewhat of a set. And then for the D cover, we have Mitch Gerards with this fantastic cover. And I love this one specifically with the purples and the way it showcases the spikes on the back of his suit. We know that he's not limited to a utility belt with this Batman. His whole suit is a utility. And that just has me intrigued to see how that's going to play out and how it's going to work out. Now, A, B, C, and D. Now they start getting a little wonky out of order here. But the, the E cover is going to be a standard foil logo variant made popular by the good folks at Big Time Collectibles. This has been a regular thing DC started doing not too long ago, but it'll just be gray foil with that <laughs> divisive, already iconic Batman logo that absolute Batman will be rocking the, the rectangle, if you will. And then for the eye cover, we have absolute Batman blank. These are pretty popular for folks that get to go to conventions or if they're, they are themselves a fantastic artist. You get one of these, you draw on it yourself. You send it in the CGC, you get a famous artist that you meet at a convention to draw on it, whatever, but these are always pretty fun. And then now we're going to be getting into, I believe some of the uh, more incentive-ish ones. So the J cover, this one is still open order, but this is a foil version 
of the Jim Lee cover. This one will have a little bit of bump on the price where the rest of them will all be at standard cover price. This one's going to kind of have a little bump on it because foil does cost a little more. But if you like things that are shiny like I do, you probably have already secured your copy of this one. And then lastly, we have a K cover, a foil Nick Dragota cover, which will be just like that A cover they've just taken off the trade dresser where it said absolute Batman and you get more of the artwork. Now we're going to get into what's called the incentive. So for every 25 copies, it doesn't have to be the A cover, but if you order 25 copies of absolute Batman, DC comics sends you one of these, the F cover by Ian Bertram, which is glorious. I absolutely love this style. It's so dynamic. He's so massive. His head's so tiny, but it works great. And with all the little word icons in the back reminds me of Adam West Batman. So if you have a smaller shop, there's not going to be many of these possibly in your store, but the bigger shops that order a hundred copies, 200 copies will be getting four, eight of these. So you might have a better shot at these. Typically these go for around the ratio number at release day and sometimes they'll go up very rarely they'll go up and then sometimes they'll go down by a few dollars and you can get them at a later date for a little bit less now if this book takes off like it's definitely going to take off this might be a little bit tougher to get at a later date for cheaper and then for the one in 50 same rule if your shop orders 100 copies you get two of these 200 copies you get four of these they're going to do a virgin variant for the Mitch Gerards. So that means the trade dress is off. Everything's off except for the bullet there. And then for the one in 100, for those heavy, heavy orders, you're getting a black and white version of the Jim Lee cover, which looks absolutely killer. Again, Jim Lee's going to be doing covers for Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. We've seen the art for them. They're fantastic. So you might get the itch to be a completionist and want to collect the whole set. So you're going to have to just collect wisely you know friends don't let friends collect the loan kind of thing now those are the ones that will be direct market covers the rest of these that we'll be showcasing are going to only be available at very specific shops and i'll let you know who they are in case you see one you want you'll know where to get it starting off first with this amazing batman the animated series homage this is from comic sketch art now you can follow them on any of the social medias. I believe that they like do shows on whatnot, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, you definitely just need to follow them for the details on when and how they're going to put theirs up for sale and all that. But this is a Mark Brooks foil cover. Absolutely gorgeous. He's holding the battle axe. You can see where the logo has been removed from his chest and only the grid remains. You see the, the talons in his cape hanging off. The trade dress itself looks beautiful. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous cover. Mark Brooks absolutely crush this one and there's also a black and white version that's called the silver screen foil where they've removed the trade dress made it black and white and i like the touch of calling it the silver screen foil again these two will be available at the comic sketch art follow them on social media next up also from comic sketch art we have an nycc 2024 exclusive by clay man i haven't seen clay man doing batman since what was it the killing time Clayman's a phenomenal artist, and this style doesn't look like the standard Clayman that I'm used to, but it is ridiculously cool. He's just crushing down on those goons in the skull mask. You can just see the size of him with that goon on his back and just holding the battle axe right there and just a light emanating from it. It just gives it the look of like uh, just the logo being perfectly placed, counterbalancing the trade dress up there, which is just wild almost looks like it's in spray paint so this one looks like it'll be an exclusive for new york comic-con a lot of these shops do make these exclusives available before the convention or on their live stream sales that they do during the convention so be sure to follow them again for information on that or just message them and ask them and lastly from comic sketch art this gorgeous black and white ryan otley variant this is insane you see him showcasing the talons in his cape busting the skull masks off of the goons. I love that it's bordered out in black. It's just so dynamic with the perspectives. Gorgeous cover. Now, this one right here, I found this jock variant, but jock even had posted that details on where this one goes to sale, on sale will be released at a later date. Well, it hasn't happened yet, and we're past FOC, so this is definitely going to be an exclusive somewhere. I don't know if he's still trying to sell it to someone or if they're just waiting for details. I didn't get a store that it's being associated with, a time or date nothing but you still get a pretty cool jock cover he's always always down with these like washed out color backgrounds i like this got the red you got the bridge and him like springing off of the talons which if you watch my ash can video you see that he actually uses those as like stilts when fighting super cool but now we're going to get into the ones that i really really dig now at midtown comics 
which is one of the biggest shops out there with a huge online presence. Dan Panogian has this gorgeous cover. And what I love about this one so much is you get more of a realistic perspective on Batman, where he's this massive hulking size figure on the rest of these covers. It's more dialed down in this. And if you just like expected, what did a massively jacked athletic, like acrobatic individual look like in peak performance? That's that's what it would look like. So it lets us know that this Batman isn't limited to this massive, the max size character, but it's just really an artist's interpretation. And this one has been announced as a connecting cover set. I don't know if it'll be connecting to future issues of Absolute Batman or if it'll be connecting to future Absolute comics like Wonder Woman or Superman. Needless to say, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cover. Next up, we have one from Third Eye Comics from legendary Batman writer and illustrator Sean Gordon Murphy, who has created the White Knight universe, which this looks like it's in the style of, obviously it's from the same artist, but even the trade dress. Again, you can find this one at Third Eye Comics. Now, the most the most divisive one that's been out there has been the New York Comic Con exclusive by Frank Miller. I guess this will be at the DC booth. I don't know if Frank Miller's going to have his own booth. It's just listed as a New York Comic Con exclusive. So be sure to check DC's uh, page if you're going to the convention and all that. But uh, Frank Miller is not for everybody these days, but man, it's definitely Frank Miller. What else is there to say about it? Now, the next one's definitely my favorite. This one you can find from my least favorite store on the list, Things from Another World. Liam Sharp is a phenomenal artist, phenomenal storyteller, and this cover is just is just tops for me. I love the style of Batman on here. I love the big chest with the smaller waist. You get an idea of the way that the cape is different in this one. Again, with the talons, the green background really just adds a different tone overall to this cover, uh, sets it apart from the rest of them. Trade dress looks great on it. Again, this is from Things from Another World. And I do want to caution you. I've ordered books from them before, and I don't really do it anymore. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of how they package books. They regularly get damaged. They use thin, like, cardboard mailers, and there's not a lot of protection for your books. So I do want to give everyone a heads up on that. If you do go to Things from Another World and order one, you might want to touch base with them or message them. Or if you have a good mailman and or a large mailbox, you might be okay. I know a lot of people order from them. They're a big shop. But that's just my experience with them. They were they were fantastic about my damaged books in the sense that they gave me my money back, but I wasn't trying to get my money back. I was wanting the book. So just I just couldn't just really recommend people to go buy it without giving you a heads up on what my experience was. But still, I would I would go check it out, communicate with them ahead of time if this covers for you. It's definitely for me. I'm gonna find me a copy. I just I'm very cautious about ordering directly from them. And the last one on the list, gorgeous book from the homies over at Big uh, Eastside Comics. I almost said Big Time Collectibles, uh, but I also am a huge, huge fan of Eastside Comics. I bought stuff from them for years. Phenomenal shop, phenomenal customer service, shipping, all things tip top. Ben Oliver's variant, absolutely gorgeous. Hulking, it almost looks like an Olivetti cover, but Ben Oliver crush this i like this face is hidden in the shadow of himself wide frame just it's just a gorgeous gorgeous cover it gives you another great artist interpretation of the perspective of this this huge character so that's the full list of covers that we have so far i don't know if more are to be announced but that's like eight standard ones three incentives so that's 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 different covers which all in all isn't that many when we've had books like the last ronin with 70 something covers or thundercats come out with 5254 because dynamite loves their variants but there's been other ones with uh, way more than that that's a great variety really and there's some to chase there's some just to go get so be sure to leave me a comment let me know which one you enjoyed out of that list which ones are you picking up i know my good buddy sector 2815 has got a list of them i'm not sure if he was familiar with all of them on this list and that's what really prompted me to want to do this video him and I were talking. So definitely give me some feedback down below. Are you excited for Absolute Batman? What are your hopes for this series? What are you looking for? And which of these covers are on your must-get list? I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that join button, become a channel member. And until next time, as always, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.